Welcome to the Master Chief Collection. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ultimate Firefight Sand Trap Edition. Now, what this is, is a mod for the Master Chief Collection, and it's now easier than ever to install mods for the MCC because Steam Workshop support is finally here. You can literally just click subscribe and add mods. It's really, really great. So I encourage you to go and take a look for yourself. There'll be a link in the description to check this mod out for yourself. Like I said, really, really easy to install, a couple of clicks. So, what's good about this? Well, as you can see, um, Halo 3 looks quite a bit different on this Firefight mod. And um, what this essentially does is use the Sand Trap map, obviously, because that's in the title. And it sort of amalgamates all of the different Halo games, including Halo Wars, to bring one ultimate Firefight experience, which is what I'm going to show you today. Now, I've already played this a little bit, so I do know what to expect. Um, you start here and you can actually select your armor, which is quite cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you can cycle between different armor sets, because you, you literally just select a helmet or you can select armor, that I'm not sure if that actually changes anything. It doesn't look like you can... Oh, it does. Yeah, so you can alternate between helmets and armor. And you can have different styles for your um, your firefight character. I actually didn't notice that's so a good job. I double checked. So you can have a custom ODST. We're going to go with this guy. It looks like the rookie. And then once you spawn in, um, you can actually... How do we spawn in? Oh, here we go. Launch bay. We company, so, hustle up. so here we are. We're now uh, an ODST getting uh, salutes from our fellow ODSTs. And it looks like we're in some sort of hangar, which is really quite nice. And you can pick up weapons. Now... These are all default weapons. You can see this is the Halo Reach shotgun in Halo 3. Pretty cool. There's ODSTs, um, Halo 2 Anniversary Marines there, and there's, I think that's Lord Hood. But yeah, all sorts of weapons that you can pick up, but this isn't the fun part. We get to pick an ally to go into battle with. Um, you can alternate between them. I'm going to go for... Ooh, who am I going to go for? Ooh, he kind of like he kind of looks like my logo from the side. We'll go with him. And here's Sergeant Johnson. I think he's um, pointing us towards the uh, the drop pod, which takes us down into the map. I'm just gonna make sure we're not missing anything inside the hangar bay. I think I'm happy with a grenade launcher and a shotgun for now. And um, the grenade launcher seems to be using the brute shot um, model, Come which on. is interesting. But here we go. We're finally going into sand trap. So you drop in like an ODST. And here we are. Now, it is a wave-based mode, like normal firefight. Here's our ally. I believe we'll be able to... Um, can we can we pick his sniper rifle up? Okay, no. So here we go. You can see that's sort of like a Banished-inspired um, dropship. I don't know if you could destroy that. I'm actually getting choked up a little bit here. And I forgot to mention at the start, um, you can add skulls to this mode, to this mod, I should say. And because it's Halo 3, um, technically not Halo 3 ODST, because ODST obviously has Firefight already, um, this is actually classed as a mission in Halo 3, so you get to this after you've installed it via the, um, the campaign screen. So being a campaign mission technically in the code of Halo 3, um, you can actually save your progress and come back to the mode um, wherever you saved it. So if I save and quit now, for example, save and quit, um, if I restart this, I'll be exactly here. This You can actually save your progress because there's quite a few um, waves. I've already played this once before, like I said, and it did take me quite a long time to progress through the rounds and unlock all of the different stuff because what you've already seen, like the, the reach weapons, the, the fact that I've got an ally, that just scratches the surface of what this mod offers. The amount of content in this in this one mod alone is absolutely insane. At the end of each round, you'll get to choose a, a perk for completing the round, whether that's like a vehicle, a weapon drop, or allies. And each each round also gets more difficult as time moves on too. Um, so we'll, we'll see a lot more Halo Wars inspired units. And you can see these are actually Halo 2 Anniversary Brutes with their custom models, it looks like, which is quite nice. So it really is a sort of love letter to, to Halo as a whole. And as we progress through the, the rounds here, you'll sort of notice, um, although it is a mod, the quality of it is quite good. And I think the only area that's sort of let down a little bit by it is the AI, because this is quite a big map. And here we go, we finished the round. 
And at the end of the round, we get to pick a perk. So we can have a mongoose. We can have what looks like a saw from Halo 4 or a grenade launcher. We already have one of those. So I'll choose the uh, saw. Well Let's have dropped. that weapon drop. Now, I'm not entirely sure where it gets dropped in. Oh, here we go. We've got a pelican coming in. This is going to drop us the weapon. But as you progress, you can unlock um, new, better perks. <laughs> so that's actually just gone flying. So you can see at the end of each round also, you get a lives added. So there we go. That's the saw. Now, I actually said at the start of the video that you just click subscribe and you install the mod really easily. That's not entirely true for this mod, but it is true for most of the mods on the Steam Workshop. Because Steam Workshop support only just came out, there's probably going to be a little bit of, I don't know, teething problems with some of the mods, and you might have to install extra files. But generally speaking, you click subscribe on the mod, and it's really easy to add them. That's the whole, that's the whole point of, of mods on Steam. Um, so we've got the, the saw now, Halo 4. We've got some more guys spawning in. Eventually, we'll be able to choose vehicles as perks, which is quite cool. And you can have ODST teams spawn in, Marines, all sorts. You can have a Spartan company come in as well. And even hero units like um, Emil from Halo Reach. And um, I believe uh, Miranda Keys as well, which is quite interesting. So we're just going to try and mow through some of these guys. But yeah, as I was saying, the, the main area for criticism for this mod is that... The, the enemies spawn quite far away from you. When you spawn over there somewhere, we're actually quite far away from where the enemies spawn, and I often find they don't really pathfind to you that well, so you do have to kind of seek out the action. Um, this actually improves as the mod goes on because more um, interesting units spawn, and it isn't just banished and covenant infantry. You'll see vehicles spawn in and um, some aircraft as well, which can seek you out a little bit better, and that makes the experience a little more... I would say interesting as the enemies become more reliable um, when it comes to taking you out. You can see this guy is like a banished brute captain. I'll have a closer look at him when he's dead. So they've all got unique models and that's the same for the, for the weapon I'm holding too. And I actually just noticed, I didn't notice that on my first time checking this out. The skybox is actually full of a load of detail too, which is quite nice. And I think this guy has... He has got some sort of weird banished rifle. Oh my goodness, okay. Quite effective. You can see there's, I think that's the, um, it's not the Spirit of Fire, it's the Amber Clad, right? Someone's going to uh, correct me in the comments, but you can see there's Banshees fighting Hornets in the sky. There's all sorts of little details. There's Phantoms, Pelicans, all sorts. Really, really cool stuff. What the, what the mod creator has been able to do with essentially um, mostly default assets from the game is craft an experience that, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of dreamt about this sort of stuff when I played Halo 3, you know, back in 2007. When Firefight came out for ODST, I always thought, man, wouldn't it be cool to play this on Halo 2? Wouldn't it be cool to play this on Halo 3? And that's essentially what this mod allows for. It's a, it's a Halo sandbox that's really fun to play, and here's a little example of the AI. I think he's struggling a bit. We'll help him out. We'll help you out, Spartan. Don't you worry. He's a Spartan with a true Spartan helmet. So here we go. We can choose <laughs> a missile pod, a mongoose, or a warthog. I think we'll go for the warthog. Um, we're probably going to see this come in on a pelican, and I believe... That, yeah, it's got a marine in it. And you can see in the pelican too... Yeah, you see the Halo 2 marines. And he's got a, um, he's got a helmet on. The pilot helmet from Halo 1, I think. So he spawns in. And the AI will actually get in. Oh, you can actually get inside. Look at that. Oh my God, it's first person. You know how five lies left? Is that because we got an ex extra life or did... Does your allies die in count as uh, deaths? No, I want to... Okay. I guess he's going to do the driving. I... No, I'm not comfortable with this Marine driving. He looks... Oh my God, I can't get in. <laughs> stop, Johnson. Stop, 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 stop. I want to drive the Warthog Johnson. No, it's Johnson. He's got a Halo 3 assault rifle, but he's got the Halo 2 anniversary model. That's kind of cool. Now, something I did notice um, was some of the custom weapons act a little bit dodgily um, with some of the enemies and some of your allies too when they spawn in with them. So um, I don't know if they're using like code from, well, I, I guess in the case of the grenade launcher from Reach, it's using the brute shot. So I don't know if it uses code from the brute shot or code from the grenade launcher or how that works, but... 
all of the custom weapons, which we've already seen a few of, um, function at various... Oh, my God. Function in various different ways. I think some of them work better than others, which I suppose goes without saying, but I did want to pick up... What is this? Can you please leave us alone? What is this? This is like a... Hmm, nothing, nothing too special with that. I guess we'll have the energy sword. A red energy sword, a banished energy sword. Look at that. Very, very cool. And um, if you're wondering, yes, this does support multiplayer. You can play this with your friends as long as you both have it installed and you launch the game via the, um, the mod-friendly uh, client. So when you fire up the game on Steam, you can play the default version or you can play, oh, the modded version. We've just lost the hog. Sergeant Johnson died. F in the chat for Johnson, ladies and gents. So you can already kind of tell that this is getting more difficult as the waves go on. But I think what I will do is fast forward to a later round where we get to choose some allies to drop in because that is one of my favorite parts of the, the game so far, I would say. And this is a interesting weapon also. Sorry, mate. All right, so I'll come back to you when I've got some allies to spawn in because, uh, like I say, that's very, very cool. Okay, so we've not got some allies, but we do have a jackrabbit, which um, if you watch the channel, you'll be very familiar with. Let's uh, spawn in the jackrabbit. Um, so I think it randomizes what vehicles and what rewards you get at the end of each round. And it seems to be a little bit random where the rounds begin and end. Because it says wave complete, but obviously there's still enemies on the battlefield. So perhaps that's a little bit of a glitch. This guy is not going to stop, is he? Come on, mate. Jackrabbit time. Oh, I just give him the... Uh, I just give him that weird sort of EMP weapon. So this is the Jackrabbit. Halo Wars 2. You'll be uh, very familiar with this if you watch the channel. <laughs> I think it's a little bit janky, but it seems to be quite effective. And um, from what I can tell, it uses a grenade... Um, as its main ability, and it isn't quite as quick as you might expect a weapon to be, um, or a vehicle to be based on the Jackrabbit, because in Halo Wars 2 they are very, very quick vehicles. Which is a shame, I think this should be changed. There's no um, alternate ability to sort of, like, boost. So this is this is what you get with the Jackrabbit. It's very, very simple. Probably using the, the Mongoose um, collision and model or something like that. Um, it's obviously using a customized um, asset, but I think... Oh, Hunters. I've not seen Hunters in this yet. Oh, the Jackrabbit seems to be taking a bit of damage. And our shields are down. Now, we d that's interesting, actually. There's an ODST model for us, but we do seem to have the, the characteristics of a Spartan. Oh, there we go. We've gone down. A player died. So you'll see how we respawn in. This is pretty cool. We get a drop pod. Drop back into battle. You can see inside the drop pod. Skadoosh. Oh, and we have um, random weapons. I'm not actually too keen on the weapons we've spawned in with here against these hunters. Five lives left. Five lives left. So these are custom hunters. I don't believe we can uh, drive this thing in here. This might be quite useful against these guys. Whoa! <laughs> that didn't kill the hunter. Look at that. Oh, there's another hunter. There's a Cyclops. Oh, my God. Hold on. There's insurrection against us here. We're going to go down again, I think. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. So, human enemies have spawned in. You can see them in the bottom right. There's a Cyclops. A red Cyclops. And there's a... Oh, my God. There's a Corvette glass in the planet, too. Where's the Cyclops? I've got a sticky detonator for you, Cyclops. Where are you? Oh, my God. We're going to struggle a bit here. We keep spawning in with um, very, very piss poor weapons. And there's quite a lot of enemies left, which is uh, a little bit disconcerting. I do think you get a notification when your ally goes down that you can revive him. Because he's classed as a, um, a hero. When you get marines spawning like we did with the jackrabbit, um, they're not classed as heroes and you can't revive them, unfortunately. But I do want to go and check out that Cyclops. That's very, very interesting. I just want to make sure I don't die again, though, because we've not got that many lives. Suppressed SMG. We'll go for that. And... Huah! This looks like it fires a sticky grenade. Oh, my God. He just timed that perfect. So I would definitely say this mod would be really, really fun with more than one person if you're playing this in multiplayer. Definitely recommend to give this a go with friends if you're going to give it a go at all. Here we go. I want to get at least one stick. 
Does he not blow up? Oh, there we go. It takes a while to blow up. I'm not sure if I like that sticky detonator or not, to be honest. There we go. Oh, I thought that was um, our friendly there. Twas not. Okay, here we go. We've actually ended that round a little bit prematurely. I don't know if the Cyclops is still there, but this is a fantastic example of what you can spawn in. We've got an ODST team, an Elite team, or I think that's called the Bulldog. It's just a, it's just a, um, a motorbike, basically. We're going to go for the ODSTs, and these guys spawn in in pods. I think we might be able to see them. Yep, there they are. There's one pod. I think there's three or four of them. So they're just using the standard ODST um, AI model. They just function like normal ODSTs do. They'll follow us around and make sure we've um, got our backs protected. I really want to go and check out this um, this Cyclops because I don't think it would have been killed. Oh, it looks like they've been killed. I guess the... Oh, there it is. Look, the Cyclops. Hello. Oh, my God. This is so cool. <laughs> you can knock him over. Oh my god, he's actually kind of tanky. Oh, here's the ODST back. Oh, there we go. We killed him. ODSTs, what are we doing, dude? Can we pick anything up? Can we get inside it? That would have been cool. A red Cyclops. Now that is what this mod is all about. That is so cool. We've got ODSTs here helping us. They seem to sort of congregate to the uh, the inside areas for some reason. So you can pick up their weapons, and he's got like a flashlight on the edge of his uh, on the edge of his gun. I'm going to give it to him. Make sure my allies have got some good weapons. But you can see um, the way everyone spawns in is kind of dodgy, because everyone's really far away from us, and they struggle to find you, which is kind of annoying. But there's loads of different weapons to pick up and try around the map, as well as ones that are being dropped by um, enemies. Obviously, this is literally just the Halo Reach DMR. We've all seen that. My allies are sort of below me, which is fine, I guess. Oh. Oh, we've got Ragers. Oh, my God. Hello, friend. Oh, they've got... They've got equipment. Goodbye. Ouch, H. Let's get with our allies. I think one of them's got a shotgun. Get inside. Get inside. Kill him. Kill him. There we go. Go on, ODST. Kill him. Is the ODST dead? Did the ODST die? Oh, my God. Where's the ODST? Oh. Yeah, I think we've lost an ODST or two already. My God, these brutes are actually kind of tough. Tough brutes, man. I guess it's in the name, isn't it? Oh, we've got an ODST up here with us. Oh, no. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> we've got one last guy left. Oh, shit. One last guy. I think it's actually a woman. I misgendered the... Oh, well, now it's, uh, it doesn't matter what gender they are. They're dead. No. Oh, no. God, it's actually kind of difficult to aim, you know. Using mouse and keyboard, as you can obviously tell. Well, that's um, that was a very short-lived ODST team that we called in there, but at least we saw the Cyclops. That was really, really cool. And there's still guys over there. Yeah, that's right. Get shit on. We'll have to uh, pay respects to our uh, fallen comrades. Let's pick up one of those. What gun has he got? I think that's just the one I've already got. So I'm picking up ammo from it. But overall, this mod has been such good fun. I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I'm going to stick a link in the description to the Steam uh, Workshop page where you can go and download it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can literally just find it. I think it's probably one of the most downloaded mods, or at least it was when I installed it. Um, if you're watching this at some point in the future, um, this is December 22, the 8th of December. So Steam Workshop support was literally added yesterday. And um, most of the mods have probably not been converted to Steam Workshop support just yet. So um, if you're watching this at a later date, you'll be able to see a lot more than is already available. Uh, we're going to go for some Marines. We've had ODSTs. Ooh, a Spartan laser. We've seen the Jackrabbit. Let's go for some Marines. What I really want to see is... ooh. Ooh, this is a different SMG. 
what I really want to see is the Grizzly, because on the Steam Workshop's um, front page for this mod, you can actually see a Grizzly on the um, the artwork for the mod, so I really want to see that. Yeah. I think that will be really cool. So these are just Halo 2 Marines. We'll see how long these guys last. The ODSTs didn't go uh, very well, did they? <laughs> Mostly got swarmed by those brutes, and that was that. So I think if we stay here, this is probably a decent um, position to defend. But um, I think what I'll do once again is just show you these Marines in action, and then we'll uh, fast forward to another part where we get a, a new um, addition to the match that I can show you, because I think most of all... You want to see the vehicles, you want to see the cool weapons, and you want to see um, allies spawning in, which is kind of what makes this mod cool, because otherwise, you know, it's just like firefight normal, isn't it? Without all the cool weapons and allies. All right, here we go. Marines are coming in. They're throwing grenades at us. The Marines are throwing them back. Nice work. Nice work. Thank you. So you can see that's like a banished elite. I think there's skirmishes. Oh, I can hear a vehicle as well, actually. Where's this vehicle? Oh, banished ghost. There he is. Come here. Oh, my God. What is this guy doing? <laughs> He's super quick. Come back. Did you kill him, Marine? Oh, my God. What is this? This is like a little bulldog or something. The Marines seem... I was going to say, uh, Juggernaut inbound. Oh, a flood Juggernaut. I was just going to say that the Marines seem more effective than the ODSTs, but uh, they just died right in front of me with one grenade. That is very unfortunate. Not sure where the Flood Juggernaut spawns in. I think I just saw him, actually. Is he over there? Yep, there's the Flood Juggernaut. The ghost's giving it one. Oh, actually, no, I want to try this. I think this is just a normal um, plasma caster, isn't it? Whoa, look at that. What an arm. Tom Brady arm. I'm not sure if Tom Brady throws or kicks balls, actually. Probably just fondles them. Um, so... So far, I think this is my favorite um, close-range weapon. And I think my favorite thing so far in terms of um, enemies has to be the Cyclops, just because just because of the novelty of it, I guess. And uh, I don't know what happened to the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut's kind of inexplicably vanished. Yeah, he's gone. Don't know where the Jug's gone. But you can tell the amount of enemies that spawn. Oh, he's going over here. He's absolutely going ham on the um, people down there. And there's two of them. There's two juggernauts. Let's see if we can take one of them out at least. Oh, he's dead. He killed him. Let's see if we can use... Oh my god! What the hell? He just jumped on us. I thought he was dead. Oh my god. I want to try and get that um, banished ghost. We're, we're spawning in again, boys. Just because it's a mod doesn't mean it's easy. Alright. It's actually quite difficult. I don't know if the Marines are going to pathfind towards us here. They're probably dead by now since um, <laughs> the Juggernaut was over there. But you can see they sort of fight amongst themselves. The AI actually is multiple teams, which is quite cool. I think those um, UNSC units that spawned were probably insurrection and they're hostile towards the Banished and the Banished are hostile towards the Covenant. And obviously we're hostile towards everyone, which is which is the most fun you can have. I want to see if we can actually kill this guy. Halo Reach weapon there. Oh, I've already got a trip mine. That's good. We'll approach this very, very carefully with various grenades. I think if we kill... Yep, yep. If we kill that, that'll be the round over. Aha! Here we go. Spartans. I think that's the um, EVA helmet as well. That's really quite cool. Don't know how these guys get spawned in. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. We can try out the Banished Ghost now. We'll see the Spartans spawn in. Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, the Marines are still alive. So the Spartans function basically the same as the Marines, but they've got shields. So it's um, fairly straightforward. So this is the Ghost from Halo Wars. Like the Jackrabbit, you'll all be very familiar. Let's just ram his ass. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. He's actually um, got a few different special attacks. Let's get out of his way. Woo! Careful, guys. <laughs> Look at them just running towards him. <laughs> they killed him. Go on. Unload on his ass. Don't walk in front of me. Shoot him. Kill it, guys. Come on, you've got sniper rifles, shotguns. You're telling me you can't kill this dude. <laughs> he keeps falling over. He takes a bit of punishment, but I'm just going to shoot at him. I'm just going to carry on shooting at him until he dies. 
No, my God. We've got some uh, JPBs in the background. Ram his ass. He don't care, does he? He's just taking all the damage. Oh, my God. A Phantom's coming in. All right. The, the Spartans are holding the ground, so that's good. Is he dead? That's his corpse. Okay, so he's finally dead. Just with the sniper rifle um, Spartans that we have, that seems to be quite effective, so I'm not going to take those off them. If we have a shotgun, we've got a pistol. I'll give him a better gun, I suppose. I think if the AI has got long-range weapons, that seems to be um, the best thing you can give them. Sniper's down. Sniper's down. See, they're not coming towards us. It's definitely a little bit of an oversight on the modder's point. But it is. It's a free mod. Can't really complain about stuff like that, to be honest, when it's literally free. Adding content to the game. Making the developers' lives easy, really. Because imagine if this was added to the... Um, oh, my God. To, um, to Halo Infinite. That would be basically a season's worth of content. But you've got this in one mod. It's really quite remarkable. I just remembered that I'm using the... Um, the skull that gives you infinite ammo, so I've decided to switch out the um, the sniper rifle with the Spartan because it's easy to just pick these guys off from a distance with the sniper rifle. I've been using the stupid DMR all this time and not really getting kills, but now I've got the sniper rifle. They can't do anything about it, which is cheddarful. So I don't exactly know how the wave system works. I've said that it seems quite random, but I think bosses spawn... So you can see there's another Juggernaut. And it seems like he's actually caught our attention. And the, all the Covenant and the Banished are shooting the Flood Juggernaut. That is absolutely cheddarful. And we're just picking off everyone. This seems like the best position I've had so far. Because they do spawn in here, but we've got quite a lot of cover. And the Spartans seem to have remained alive for the longest amount of time when it comes to my allies. I don't know if you can spawn in multiple squads of Spartans. I've definitely had ODSTs, Marines, and Spartans on a previous run, but I don't know if you can have like eight Spartans with you. That'd be really cool. That is if you can keep them alive for long enough. <laughs> they seem to uh, die a bit of a death when uh, JPBs or Gravhammer Brutes come in, which uh, is always the case in Halo, so that's fine. Look at them just running at us. Tower Defense, Halo Edition. Okay, we've done that round. Now we get to choose a different vehicle. I think um, the obvious choice is probably the Warthog with the um, what looks like a rocket launcher on the top. So we'll go with that. And I dare say it's going to spawn it in near us. Seems like the, the Pelican goes to wherever you are on the map, which is pretty cool. Here she comes. Skadoosh. Oh, we've got the Juggernaut coming to us here. Doesn't really give a monkeys, though. Let's get in the Warthog. Um, oh, who's this? Oh, that's my... Um, that's the teammate from the start. Let's get in the Hog. We'll do some driving around. Get in, boys. We're going shopping. You gonna get in? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. The, the driving of the AI seems to be a little bit hit and miss when it comes to uh, them being the pilot. So I'm gonna do the driving and let them do the shooting. And hopefully we can kill this um, juggernaut. And see a few more interesting things because the um, the Grizzly hasn't spawned as a choosable vehicle yet. And I don't think we've seen all of the enemies. There's definitely some Sentinels and a few more uh, types of uh, Banished that we're yet to see. So we'll wait for that. We'll see how it goes. Oh, the Spartans are actually following us. <laughs> don't run out into the open, guys. Maybe we should try and defend a position like, I don't know, here or something. We can keep the guy on the turret and just sort of stand our ground with, with weapons. Oh, dear. Oh, the hog's already wasted. It didn't seem that effective, the rockets on the hog. Don't you dare shoot me. So the Spartans have gone back inside. They seem pretty quiet, don't they, the Spartans? They're not saying much. That's quite fine. I'll do the talking, boys. Don't you worry. The Juggernaut's absolutely going ape shit on the grunts, which is hilarious. Let's try and knock this uh, fusion coil off so we don't get killed by that. 
See, he's just absolutely destroying the Covenant. It's probably within our interest to just let the uh, the Juggernaut go. Let him kill all the guys for us. And I can just pick off the, um, the Grunts as they come to us. He had a mask. Oh, I thought that was going to be two collaterals in a row. <laughs> you can hear them going, woo, in the background. <laughs> it's so, so much fun watching this all unfold right in front of you. I have governed the um, okay. Oh, oh no, we've lost a Spartan. Oh, the, the Juggernaut's here. He's not happy. Oh, that ODST. Oh, that's Spartan. The Spartan. Run away, Spartan. He's got a shotgun, so I think he'll probably just... Oh, I'm... My ally's just jumping in there. He's actually taking a punishment. He's taking it like a champ. Oh, and now he's dead. No! <laughs> Why are they all jumping to their death? What are you doing, Spartans? No! This guy does not want to go, does he? I suspect. Oh my god! <laughs> let's get let's get down here to get a bit of cover. Oh, we've got the end of the round. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Cobra time, boys. Cobra, scorpion, or more Spartans. I think we'll choose the cobra. There we go. Let's hopefully not die. Oh my god. I can't run away quick enough. I actually don't want to lose all of my allies here because I want to try this Cobra. Hopefully, there's a seat for them to get in. Oh, there's someone already in it. No, stop. I want to drive. Let's run away from all of that. Let's try out the Cobra. <laughs> oh, you, I wonder if you can lock it down. Doesn't look like you can. Oh, we've killed him finally. Holy shit, that took long enough. Can you get in the passenger seat, perhaps? Doesn't look like it. So, I was very tempted to get the Scorpion. That would have probably been more effective than this. But this is a Halo Wars Cobra. And this is a Halo Wars channel. So, I would be remiss if I didn't choose the Cobra. Am I right or am I right? I think you all wanted to see the Cobra more than you wanted to see the Scorpion. Everyone's seen a Scorpion. We know what they do. But, Cobras? We know what they do in Halo Wars, but what about in the MCC? It's kind of cool. It seems actually kind of shit, to be honest. <laughs> it's not even killing them in one hit like the Goss Hog would. Let's, um, oh, I was going to say let's pop out of it and do some uh, damage to this guy with the sniper. The Hunters seem really, really difficult to take down, actually. The... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Will you stand in there? Let's rain down hell on them. What's this asshole doing? Oh, I think we've... Oh, no. I thought we had an ally in that then. I don't know if the Hunters are the most difficult enemy. Oh, we've got another ghost. That's like a, an ultra ghost or something from Halo 5, I believe. Not entirely sure. Let's go and kill this. The elites are just sort of running around crazy style. Probably shouldn't have dropped the, um, the sniper rifle, actually. Oh, I didn't drop the sniper rifle. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's got his back to us. Don't turn around. No, I'm a shit shot. I'm sorry. That's just a... I think that's a Halo Combat Evolved. Oh, he's got a thin little uh, noodle arm, hasn't he? Look at him go. Hello. Oh, you can take a sniper rifle round to the face, I see. I want to give a ghost a go. This guy's really um, putting up a fight. Oh, there he goes. Now he's wasted. I wonder if we can pick up his gun. <laughs> yeah, we can. Hello. And that was all she wrote. And we've got infinite ammo on this as well. <laughs> it, it's got like travel time so they can just jump out the way of it. Oh, and it's got bullet drop as well. That's very, very cool. Let's see what hunter weapons do against hunters. Evidently not much. Oh, we're going to die again. Oh. We're going to go down. Switch weapons. Sniper time. I really want to try the... Um... Oh, <laughs> I think he's got in the Cobra. 
I don't know if that's friendly or hostile, but they're in it. Let's try and board it. There we go. Ghost time. Get absolutely owned. So I'm very, very curious. What do you guys want to see? Because there's so many mods to check out that I could do videos on. I think this is going to be the start of a brand new series where I play all of the various mods and hopefully check out, I don't know, one a week? What do you reckon? One a week? That sounds like a reasonable amount. Can I board this, please? Look out! Nope. Oh, oh, we're getting stuck and we died. <laughs> a player died. There we go. We've got plenty of lives. It doesn't seem that difficult. I think if you were playing this on Legendary, it would be quite a bit more difficult. I think what we'll do is we'll go until I see the Grizzly and then I'll call it a day. And these ODST pods are still here. Oh, that's got like the Phantom... Um, the Phantom weapons on it, hasn't it? I crush you beneath me. Let's kill him with a sword. Oh no. Sword time. Hold E to board enemy vehicles. Yes, I know. Oh, I thought he was still alive. I thought he was throwing a grenade at us then. So I think this is... Is this the same weapons that are on the, uh, the Phantom? So it's really quite a powerful weapon. Not convinced. Oh, the hero is down. You can revive the hero. So he's my uh, my comrade in arms. Aha! We've got another Cyclops. It would be really cool if you could actually um, if you could actually get in the Cyclops, but you can only kill it, which is sad, but also kind of cheddarful at the same time. God, my guy's down again. Come on, Cyclops. What are you doing? Die. He's got shock rounds. That's what's going on here. <laughs> He's kind of derpy, isn't he? Oh, there we go. The end of the round. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now I really don't know what to choose. Oh, my God. We've got to go for the Grizzly, haven't we? We've got to go for the Grizzly. Oh, we kind of got to go for this, though. It flies. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're going to go for the flying machine. Flying machine it is, boys. Where's where's the guy that we're going to revive? Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. The hawk. It's a hawk. Oh, my. No. No. Come down. I want to fly. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to fly, dude. What are you doing? Oh, my God. This ass hat's not going to let me fly. He keeps flying away from me. <laughs> Well, that's the hawk, the sparrow hawk in um, Halo 3. <laughs> oh, that's actually an enemy. <laughs> oh, my God. What is happening? I lost control for a second there. Is this is this a, a Covenant ship coming in? Oh, my goodness. What's happening here? The hawk's going against the Cobra, guys. I don't know what's happening. We've got a Covenant ship coming in. Everything is stressful right now. Here we go. Oh my god. Boss wave. A scarab. Right, Marines, let's get it on. Yeah, I think we should. I don't know how we're going to kill the scarab. We've got the hawk in the sky. We've got the cobra. Oh, what's this? Who's coming in? Who's dropping in? Are these friendlies? Oh, Marines. Thank god. Thank god we've got some Marines to take down the scarab. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely wild. We should have called in the grizzly, man, because that, that, that hawk is nowhere to be seen now. I don't think we're going to ever see the hawk again. We can't fly it ourselves. That is an uh, oversight. We've got some awesome Halo music in the background too. Absolutely cheddarful. Oh my god. I love the, I love the fact that it spawns in from the, um, the big Corvette. That's really awesome. What are you shooting at? Where's the, where's the hawk gone? I bet he's just sort of gliding around on the floor. Oh, the scarab's coming closer. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god, he's shooting at us already. So we didn't choose... Oh, there's the... Oh, he's, he's hovering, he's hovering. Oh, he's going for us. Oh my god, this is going to be actually kind of difficult. Because we need to uh, we need to kill its legs, don't we? I wonder if we can get the... Pel oh, he keeps flying away. What is he doing? He's going to die. You're going you're gonna to die, my guy. Oh my god, he just got missed. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there goes the hawk. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh my god, holy shit. I wonder if we die, we'd be able to um, 
drop in on a pod and land on top of the uh, the scarab. That's the only way I see this going. Oh, we got more Marines. <laughs> How many Marines are we going to have? Is this a Sergeant? A Sergeant Marine? There we go. You better take cover, boys, because this is going really badly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're never going to be able to get that. Oh, my God. Well, there's my friendly down. Oh, shit. Pick him up. There we go. I don't know if if this is even feasible. Oh, now we're going to go down, I think. Oh, they can jump up there. Look at that. Oh, railgun. That actually might be kind of useful. Let's try the railgun on the, on the legs. Oh, I'm really ill about that. It just sort of flies around the map. That's kind of crazy. Oh, here we go. An elite ultra is that. He dropped a bubble shield. Thank you. That was really well-timed and considerate, wasn't it? Oh, that's an ODST. I don't know where he came. Oh, dear. Get in the bubble shield. Woo! <laughs> that instantly dropped. Oh, my God. There's so many bad guys on the um, on the ship as well. Look at them all just sort of, <laughs> just sort of crouching down. Um, we might be able to get inside it here, actually. Can we? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, player died. Where are we going to drop in? Oh, you can see ODST drops. Look, look. You see him on the right-hand side there. We're quite a ways from uh, the Scarab this time, though. We need a flying machine. Oh, I've got terrible weapons. Oh, ODST right in front of us. Hello, mate. How are you doing? We've got a Scarab to take down. I, I'm, a I'm a real idiot. I should have just chose the Grizzly Man. We'd have been able to uh, nuke its legs and jump on board, I reckon. But now we're going to have trouble to even destroy the legs. I don't think we've got enough... Oh, I don't think we've got enough firepower. <laughs> Let me correct that. The Marines are still following us. It's good. Oh, is he going to get absolutely owned? Oh, he, he survived. The infinite ammo skull has made this way more viable, I think. I don't know if we're even damaging it. It's a red scarab, though, so I'm just going to say this is a banished scarab. Wow. The, the pelican's actually inside. The, the phantoms, the spirit. How many times can you get it wrong in one go? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no! Is the, the rocket launcher isn't there anymore. We're going to have to find another rocket launcher. We were doing all right there. We're spawning in once more. Oh, we're right near it. That's actually not bad. It's terrible. Oh, run away. Can we get inside and go up for the rocket launcher again? Five lives. Bloody hell. That ODST is having a real bad time and now he's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's just hiding inside. Well, we've actually wounded the uh, the weapon on it a little bit. I don't think the rocket launcher is going to be still there, is it? It's probably flown away. Oh my god. No rockets. What are we going to do? Let's um, take the ghost. Oh, no. Run away. Run away as fast as you can. Oh, you caught me. I'm not the gingerbread man. Well, there's my corpse. We're going to lose quite a few lives here. Is that picking where we're going to spawn? Oh, it is. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no. Yeah, no, never mind. I think it is actually kind of random where you spawn. Oh, here we go. Missile pod. We've only got nine shots in it, though. Eight shots, even. Hopefully that's going to crack its legs. Oh my god, it didn't do anything. Missile pods, perhaps not what we uh, really need. The railgun didn't seem all that effective either, did it? We just need to jump on board. My god. Shut up! Stop shooting me. Woo! Marine, you're in the way. Another dead Marines there, and he's shooting at us. Got a banished elite here. He's dead. Oh, another dead Marine. Oh, and another dead ODST. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder what happens when you kill the Scarab. 
if that's even possible. There's going to there's gonna be so many ODST pods on the map. Oh, we nearly dropped on it then. Oh my God. Perfect weapon to spawn with. Kind of, sort of. Not really. I need to get in you, Scarab. Oh, we're never going to be able to get in there. Oh my God. And we died again. <laughs> How cheddarful would it be to drop right on top of it? What's the chances? Where is it? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Yeah, we're not we're not near it this time. Got a different gun and a pistol this time. Rockets, please. Right, let's be makers, no. Kill him. There we go. I contacted. Oh my god. Oh god, this guy's inside. I can hear Marines talking, but I don't see them on the minimap. I, th I think one of them just threw a grenade. Oh, here we go. What's this? What's this? Sticky detonator. I thought that was a crowbar from Half-Life then. All right, let's try Let's try the railgun. We didn't really try the railgun that hard, did we? Oh, uh, that's the, the Halo Reach SMG. Assault rifle, even. Railgun. There we go. Okay, let's try and shoot the legs. Reinforcements as requested. Where? Absolutely owned. Oh, Marine. ODST. Right. What what leg was it we were shooting at and actually damaged already? Not even sure we did damage a leg, to be honest. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> Just give him the shit railgun. There's so many of them. Oh my god, we're going to go down again. Well, that wiped out all the Covenant for us. Well, the ODSTs and the Marines are kind of attracting a lot of attention for us, so that's nice. But I would have thought, oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh! I thought I heard that. dun, dun, then. Oh my god, they're all going to die. I think it has actually dropped. Can we get on board? Oh, it's jumping up now. Bloody hell. I just heard it going bam, bam. Oh my god, this is absolutely chaos. Oh! We've got a we've got an elite with two swords. Elite with two swords. I can hear Marines die. Oh, he just got absolutely nuked. Oh my god. And we died again. Holy shit. This is actually kind of difficult. <laughs> we've got all those Spartans and ODSTs dropping in. Okay, are we on top of it? I can never tell where we are. Oh, we're miles away. I d I'm not sure who it was that was damaging its legs when it was going down just then. One oh, one life left. I think we've fucked it, fellas. We're not going to be able to kill it. It's too difficult. I would like to know what happens when you kill it, though. Everyone's dead. There's no one on the minimap. <laughs> Let's have a shotgun and a DMR, shall we? Oh, there we go. It was just beeping again. Oh, he's... He was wiped out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just made it. Just made it. Ouch. He's got a plasma caster. I've used that weapon before. How did we die? Oh, there was a hunter to our left or to our right. I don't know which side that was. Oh, God. There's the scarab. It's walking over out of bounds. We keep spawning with absolutely useless weapons. Where's the phantoms? Where's the pelicans with reinforcements? No lives left. No lives left. Has that rocket launcher spawned back? No, it has not. Okay. <laughs> the ODST is running towards us and he's dead. Oh my god. I quite like there's different I quite like the fact that there's different variants of the same weapon. Like there's like two or three assault rifles, a few pistols. It's really cool. So he's dropped again. We're not going to be able to get there in time, though, are we? Let's just make a beeline. Oh, the hog. The hog, the hog, the hog. Oh, we're going to die. Woo, 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 woo. Run, 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 run. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I've got infinite grenades. I don't know why I'm not using them. Oh, he's got a special uh, weapon of some kind. 
I'm kind of cheesing this guy. And he's dead. Oh, Christ. Holy mother of God. Let's have an AR and an AR just for fun. Oh, here we go. No. We're never going to be able to do this. He's shooting us again. See, it keeps going bump, and I think we can jump on it, but we just can never get close enough to it. What's happening here? Here we go. Oh, we just got close to it. I, I swear I don't understand how this is actually working. Or if it even is working, to be honest. Take cover. Oh my god, we're going to go down. I think we've got one more life left, have we? Or zero? Oh, there we go. We're hurting it. Oh, this might be the way to do it, boys. Hopefully we can, like... We need to hurt its leg while it's facing backwards to us. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Now we make a break for it. Now it's definitely going down. Can we make the jump? Woo, we're inside. Holy shit, we did it. Okay, we're inside. We're inside. I want to know what happens when you kill it. Hopefully there's no big assholes in there that's going to absolutely murder us. I just ignored that brute. Kill the scarab. Oh, we did it. Let's just throw a grenade just in case. Run away. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marine. You, you didn't survive. Holy shit, we did it. There we go. Kaboom. <laughs> oh my god. Boss defeated. New rewards available. So we can get a chopper, a prowler, or some hunters to spawn in. That's kind of cool. Well, I think um, that's going to be as good of a point as any to um, call it a day. I think that is a pretty good showcase of the mod. And um, like I said, if you want to check it out for yourself. Hero. Hero. Oh, Arbiter, Noble Six. My goodness. We're going to go for Noble Six, obviously. Um, so, yeah. That is the Ultimate Firefight mod for Sandtrap. Check it out. Link in the description. Or just watch the video over and over again. That's the preferred method. <laughs> uh, but no, thanks for watching, ladies and gents. Um, this is going to be hopefully a weekly series where we check out a mod for the MCC and um, do a different one every time. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you later. Noble Six doesn't have a voice. He's got armor lock, though. Typical.